Good morning again everyone. I hope you are doing well and I pray your family is doing well also. I pray that God will continue to be with you all and keep you and to bless you. Our reading today comes to us from Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 to 4 and it reads, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Verse 2, Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment, with promise. Verse 3, That it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. For and last says, And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And I say, Amen. We thank the Lord for his word this morning. And as it says, children must be obedient appearance right the lord is not pleased when children are disobedient and so we need to train our children to always be obedient right obedient to god obedient to you the parent and also obedient to adults as long as they are being guided in the right way at least and so children these days as we know have lost a lot of respect for parents and for just about anybody right and so there needs to be some reassessment of home life in order to bring back our children and so i pray that the lord will give you the parent wisdom as you seek to train your children in the right way all right it goes on to tell us that if children fail to be obedient and they are disrespectful then they are own it's only going to be to their own detriment because what it says what the, it says that they are to what honor their parents if they want to live long in this earth that's verse three right and it also went on to admonish parents Right? He says, Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Right? So, do not abuse your children, fathers and mothers, but train them up in the nurture of God. Right? Grow your children according to the will of God. That's all he's asking. Right? Don't abuse your children. But at the same time, you should discipline them, right? And also guide them in the correct way, right? And in turn, children should be obedient. So I pray that as families continue to work together and grow together, that the love of Christ will be manifested in the heart of the parents, in the heart of the children and the heart of the grandmothers and the grandfathers and the uncles and the aunts and just everybody as we seek to follow the will of God so that we can truly live a happy life in this misery world until Jesus come may God continue to bless you and may God continue to keep you all as you stay faithful. Amen.